Developing overnight, crews continue to monitor a leaking tanker truck. It's putting out a smelly chemical into the air, and that stink is blanketing South Jersey, forcing people to shelter in place. Now, overnight, there was another large gas release. The fumes are so strong. People across the river in South Yikes. Philadelphia say they're starting to smell it now, too. Action News reporter Corey Davis pulled the short straw. He is live <laughs> on the scene at a truck stop in Paulsboro. How bad is bad, Corey? Yeah, Tam, even after, <clears throat> excuse me, even after the, the weather came through, we could still smell the rotten egg smell here. You can see behind us here at the TA truck service stop where we are around here. The shelter in place order was lifted around 1 30 this morning and crews say that they tested the air quality and tell us that there is still uh, no health hazard to anyone out here in the area, but there is some strong fumes that are left behind. Another truck driver describes what he saw yesterday afternoon. I mean, it was screaming that so much pressure was in the valve. It's doing every 30 seconds. A fuel additive called Lubrizol 1395 was identified as what was coming from the tanker. Officials say hundreds of people in Paulsboro and surrounding areas started calling 911 around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon about a strong odor like rotten eggs and natural gas. Emergency crews found the tanker attached to the back of a truck expelling fumes at the TA truck stop. It's off of Berkeley Road near I-295 in Paulsboro, East Greenwich Township. Officials tell us the tanker is built to expel fumes when temperatures rise above a certain level. So when we reach a certain temperature again on this sp specific vessel with this chemical, it will create a purge or an expelling. And again, this odor, this particular chemical gives off a rotten egg smell. And when it gives off this odor uh, with the prevailing winds, we're getting a lot of odor that's carrying a long distance. They say Luprazole 1395 is known to cause eye and skin irritation when you come into contact with it. Hazmat crews monitored and tested the air quality around the scene and officials say they have confirmed that there is no risk to the public, just a strong smell. Yeah, definitely a strong smell. Smells like rotten eggs. So once again, officials are telling us that there is no risk to the public here. When it comes to if anyone could be held responsible for this, officials also say that they need to continue looking into who owns that tanker, who drove it, and also investigate exactly what happened inside that tanker as well. For now, reporting live here in East Greenwich Township, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. All right.